what's up y'all and welcome back listen i know it's been a couple of weeks since i've given you guys a video but i promise i have been working on something and on top of that y'all life was lifing so i'm trying to continue to create while life was lifing but thank god for an amazing community that just showed up and surrounded me during that time and during this current time um but it didn't stop me from working on what i was working on which i'm really happy about so like I've told you guys in the community post, I don't know if you've seen it, but I've been working on a denim on denim capsule collection. Now, at first, when I came up with the concept, I was like, okay, I'll do like four pieces, just have fun with it. And then I found myself trying to do more. I was forcing myself to do more. Keep that in mind. So as I'm sewing and as I'm making the patterns, as I'm picking out the fabric, I was like, okay, I can get this done. All right, I'm moving and grooving and whatnot. And then something tells me, okay, work on the denim vest first. Usually I work on the garment that looks the hardest or may take the most time. But instead I decided to just go with my gut and work on the denim vest. So I'm working on the, the denim vest and as you can see, it was really just kind of clean and simple, a little distressed. It was gonna have these belt loop details with 3D pockets. There were gonna be chest level. But as I'm working on it, and I'm moving and grooving as you can see, I'm working on the collar. I had already done my belt loops, I done pressed everything, started doing my placket. And then I get done and I'm like, wait a minute, why is my collar cricket? So I measure everything, I walk my patterns again, and I'm like, wait, okay, this works, this works. Turns out, I sewed my placket to the wrong side. Now the placket is where your belt, not your belt loops, Lord have mercy. The placket is where your buttonholes go. I sewed it to the wrong side. But I was like, you know what, girl? We just gonna make it work. Because what I wasn't about to do was seam rip everything. What I wasn't about to do was take everything apart, recut it, re-sew it, re-interface it, because as I was sewing, I was also trimming things down. So if I would have took it down, recut, and re-sewn everything, that would have altered the fit altogether. So I just said, girl, how can we make this work? Being that the collar was crooked, meaning like the bottom half and where the flaps, the top collar laid, it was kind of more centered towards the the what side is that the left side and i'll show a picture right here it was just more angled that way so i was like okay let's just play with the 3d pockets it doesn't have to be perfect i kept telling myself it doesn't have to be perfect meaning that it doesn't have to follow a certain look it can be literally what the fabric wants it to be so i decided to listen with the fabric and just flow with it and have fun so I decided to do that so I reshaped everything I re-angled everything instead of making everything even meaning like three belt loops and this side was gonna be on this side and everything was gonna be at this level I decided to just have fun with it and it actually came out better than I expected then I asked myself to lay a girl would you wear this and myself said girl I'll, I'm gonna wear that I'm gonna wear that a lot of times so much so my family may get tired of me wearing it but I'm gonna wear it the heck out of this denim vest i didn't want to say that but you know i'm a i'm a woman of god so i'm, I'm not gonna cuss on here in public anywho as i was saying i kept asking myself like well who who would you see wearing this i don't know about y'all but i have conversations with myself i feel like you should do you should too is very therapeutic but i asked myself who do i see wearing this and i was like it's kind of giving a tear a whack vibe I, I could see her kind of playing with this and doing something crazy with this um so shout out to Tierra Wack. Anywho, if you don't know who she is, you should look her up. Her music is dope. Her style is dope. And I hope to design for her one day. Now that I just shot my shot on my voiceover. Okay. Anywho, like I said, I loved making this denim vest, even though it was a lot of trial and tribulation as far as sewing it wrong and not following, following a perfect blueprint as I normally would. And that was really the lesson of it all. Like stop trying to force stuff. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And it doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. Sometimes it doesn't work because you need to elevate it. Sometimes things don't work out because it doesn't produce the best kind of fruit. It doesn't produce the most abundant fruit. In this case, it didn't work because it was too simple. It was too basic. And it forced me to, I wouldn't even say force. It pushed me into a realm of actually just having fun and allowing my creativity to just flow. And that's what I did. So I hope in this voiceover, you kind of took something away from it, which is to pivot. Know when to pivot. 
no one to stop forcing, no one to just flow, no one to stop trying to force a vision into something and just allow whatever you're making to speak to you and listen to it. That's all I got. Enjoy the rest of this video. Mm -hmm.